good morning children uh, how are you i hope you all are fine so today we are going to start our iit physics online class and what topic we are discussing children we are discussing types of vectors is it already in the last class we started this topic types of vectors and we discuss four important types is it no what are they remembered now i hope you are writing the notes maintaining it neatly okay and going on practicing it so children what are they they are equal vectors and negative vectors like and unlike vectors is it now just once we will revise that one so first what i explain you equal vectors equal vectors means what two or more vectors having same magnitude and same direction two or more vectors suppose ab is one vector ab is one vector and cd is one more vector both having magnitude same 3 cm 3 cm and both are uh, uh, pointing same direction east east so two or more vectors having same magnitude and pointing same direction then they are equal vectors is it next we discussed like and unlike vectors like and unlike vectors means what two vectors if their magnitude is different but they both point same direction then they are known as like vectors okay suppose pq is one vector of magnitude 2 cm and rs is one vector of magnitude 5 cm but both are pointing west direction it means they are like vectors of course magnitude is different but both pointing same direction when the uh, like and unlike vectors comes you have to see the direction if they are uh, directing same direction then they are like if their direction is different then they are unlike it's not necessary their magnitude is same or not so that are like and unlike vectors next is negative vectors negative vectors means what two vectors having same magnitude but opposite in direction okay same magnitude 2 cm 2 cm but one is pointing east another pointing west or one is pointing north another pointing south so magnitude is same but pointing opposite directions then they are negative vectors of each other clear children these are the four types we uh, discussed in the last class now today we are discussing we will discuss the next types of vectors clear so let's start today's topic see children first is zero vector actually there are four types we already completed then this will come as fifth one is it this is a fifth one and this is sixth one so fifth is zero vector zero vector means what a vector with magnitude zero and starting point and terminal point is same and coordinates of a and b vector of ab vector is same whereas direction is indeterminate so see children zero vector means what with the name zero vector so zero vector means a vector whose magnitude is zero a vector whose magnitude is zero if magnitude is zero then what about the direction direction is indeterminate means cannot be determined okay it cannot be determined a vector whose magnitude only zero then its direction cannot be determined suppose the uh, vector is ab okay suppose vector is ab it's a zero vector okay it's this is a zero vector zero vector means magnitude is zero okay no value magnitude zero means what is the initial point that is only terminate means that is only ending point where, from where it starts there only end so starting point and ending point both are same means magnitude is zero so like that vector means direction is what no in data mine can't find out that direction so a vector with magnitude is zero means starting point and ending point terminal point means ending point is same means coordinates of a and b coordinates for any point how to find its position 
by its coordinates x axis y axis x axis y axis then any point its location how to find what is its coordinates of x and y so here vector a b its starting point a the coordinates of a and b starting point and ending point coordinates are same okay so that is what zero vector next is sixth point is unit vector unit unit means what unit okay unit vector means one magnitude is one a mag a vector which has magnitude of unit length any vector whose magnitude is unit length means one is known as a unit vector okay its magnitude is one so if x vector having there is one unit vector is considered what is that x vector then its magnitude what we are considering x then how to represent this unit vector by x cap remember children how to read x cap x cap in the direction of what is what will be the direction of that unit vector the direction of x vector only the direction of unit vector clear children are you understanding unit vector unit vector means its magnitude is unit length okay unit vector means what is the magnitude unit length zero vector means what is the magnitude zero unit vector means what is the magnitude unit length what is okay magnitude unit length direction direction is along the direction of x vector what is the direction of that x vector that is only the direction of that unit vector unit vector actually only its function is to show the direction okay it is only useful for showing the direction so how to read this unit vector x cap x cap how much its magnitude 1 see x cap unit vector x x cap is equal to x vector by magnitude of means mode of x mode of x means magnitude of x x vector by mode of x x cap equal to x cap is what it's a unit vector clear children so children take your notes please write down write neatly continue in the last class already you started types of vectors and you continue we already completed four this is the fifth and sixth one continue the same so next is coplanar vectors coplanar coplanar means same plane is it no coplanar same plane so vectors acting in the same plane are known as coplanar vectors example see children this this is suppose p q r s p q r s is a plane okay p q r s is a plane in that how many vectors are there you can see vector a vector b and vector c three vectors are there all these three vectors are acting in same plane is it now there is only one plane is there what is that plane p q r s is one plane in this one plane only three vectors are acting a b and c so all these three vectors are known as coplanar vectors so which are sharing vectors which are sharing same plane are coplanar vectors clear non coplanar vectors same like that only non coplanar means vectors which are not sharing same plane means which are acting in different planes very simple thing no co non coplanar vectors means vectors which are acting in different planes then they are non coplanar vectors vectors which are acting in same plane coplanar vectors vectors which are acting in different planes that are non coplanar vectors so very simple now with the word name only you can find out what is its feature next is 
collinear vectors collinear collinear means which acts in same line you see in the mathematics you write collinear points is it no collinear points in mathematics you are reading no suppose this is a line okay point this is one line pq and he, this is a point a this is point b this is point c so all these three points are lying in same line pq is it or not all these three points point a point b and point c lies on same line pq so these three points are known as collinear points because they lie on same line just like that collinear vectors means two or more vectors which lie in same line same line two or more vectors which lie in same line they are known as Co collinear vectors clear write down this you must draw that also so next children next is displacement vector displacement okay if a point is displaced there is a point if a point is displaced from position a to b Suppose one point is there, okay, one point, its position is A. If the point is displaced from A to B, okay, then the displacement AB represents a vector AB. This is this, this a displacement or not? Point, where is a point? Initial point A. Now it is displaced, displaced from A to B, it is displaced. Okay, so this AB is a vector. This AB vector is known as displacement vector. Okay, so if any point is displaced from one position to another position, point A to point B, then the displacement is called displacement vector because this point is displaced from A to B. So it's a displacement vector, displacement AB vector. Next is co initial vector. Very simple. Co initial. Co means same initial point. Co initial vectors. So, two or more vectors having same initial point are known as co initial vectors. Means they start from same point. Initial point is same. They start from same point. The vectors which have the same starting point are co initial vectors. See, these are the axes x axis, y axis, z axis. Three axes. Okay. In that, three vectors are there vector A, vector B, vector C. And its origin O. Origin O. These vectors start from O. Is it not? So, what are these vectors? O A vector, O B vector, O C vector. Its starting point is what? O. Origin. Same origin. So, these three vectors are known as co initial vector. What are the co initial vectors? Vector OA, vector OB, vector OC. All these three vectors having same origin O as initial point. So, they share same initial point. So, they are co initial points. Dear children, please write down this. So next is your in position vector, position vector, okay, again I am saying with the name only we can find out what is its feature. Position vector means a vector which locates position of a point, okay. So position vector is what, if O is taken as reference, O is what, O is a origin, you know, no? see, x axis, y axis, z axis this is what origin o reference point so o is taken as a reference origin and a is any arbitrary point a a is a point arbitrary point means anywhere somewhere in the space there is one point somewhere okay in point in the space then vector o a vector is called position of the vector of that point Okay, O is what? O is a reference point, origin. 
A is what any point in the space. Any point. Suppose here is A. Any point in the space. Then OA vector. OA vector what? OA vector is called position vector for this point. Clear? So position vector denotes what? Location of A point. So here is a point A. Okay. What is the location of A? This. This is a point A vector A. So it shows the its position in three dimensional Cartesian system. Suppose we will take one more. Suppose P. P. Okay. O P. O P is a vector. P is a point. What is the coordinates of P? X, Y and Z. In, okay. P is a point. Having coordinates x coordinate x, y coordinate y, and z coordinate z. Okay, this is a position of point P. OP is a vector. So now, OP vector means R vector. Here, what is the given? OP vector means where, how much R vector is equal to what? Xi plus yj plus zk. Now, what is i, j, k? i cap, j cap, k cap. These are the unit vectors i cap j cap k cap are unit vectors along x axis y axis z axis again i am saying unit vectors having unit length its uh, function is what to show the direction only then magnitude of this op vector or r vector magnitude is how much whole square root of x square plus y square plus z square what is x, y, z? See here. x, y, z is what? Coordinates of this point P. x coordinate, y coordinate, z coordinate. P is a point. Its location is what? x, y, z are the coordinates. So, magnitude of this OP vector or R vector is what? Mode of R. You know, already vector magnitude is always Positive, so mode of R vector equal to whole square root of x square plus y square plus z square. x, y, z are what? Coordinates. Okay. Of P. Understood, children? So, please write down this. So, here we completed all the types of vectors. Next class, we, are, we will go see the laws of addition. Here. Yeah? write on this i hope you are writing neatly maintaining the notes everything you are writing in order mentioning the date and time okay so you must continue that and if any doubt is there please post your doubt in your group so as i will clarify that doubt in the next video thanks for watching